All right, this is for 7.1.14. It's a test bank item, looks like. Um, a student running for a position in student government believes that 55% uh, of student body will vote for her. However, she is worried about lower low voter turnout. Complete part A through D below. Um, assuming she truly believes 55% supports the entire student body, um, that 55% now is the true population proportion, okay? So write down P equals 0.55. P equals 0.55. Let me write that down on my notepad over here too. Um, that one was from a previous problem. Just taking notes. Because um, when you are doing sampling distribution of sample proportion or sample mean, there are a couple of things that are very important. And those things, well, for sampling proportion, it's going to be the population proportion. So I wrote down 0.55 is P. Um, find the mean and the standard deviation for the sampling distribution for the for the proportion of voters, she will receive only if n, okay, so write down n equals 102. So the sample size is also important. I'm going to go ahead and write down n equals 100. Um, students show up for voting. Now remember, I need you to remember the formulas, okay? Um, uh, for sampling distribution of sample proportion, the mean is equal to, the mean is actually equal to the P itself, the population proportion. So uh, when they ask you for, to find the mean and they want you to round to three decimal places, we'll just add an extra zero there. That's what the mean is. Now remember for the standard deviation, uh, looks like you got that one right. Uh, you have to use that bigger formula, right? Um, the formula is P times, well, since you got that one right, but so I'm not going to go over it. Uh, but that's the standard deviation, standard deviation formula. You have your P, you have your N. You can plug them in and it looks like that's how you got 0 0.050. So that's great. Um, and B, uh, in part B, you did a great thing because you, um, is it reasonable to assume a normal shape? Because once you say, yes, it is reasonable to assume, we can use normal distribution to uh, calculate the probabilities in part C and D. Um, and you did that. Uh, you know how to find how many people are expected to vote for her and how many people are not expecting uh, expected not to vote for her. Uh, and both numbers both came out to be greater than 15. So we're going to assume normal shape. And that's when you can open up your stat crunch for normal calculator. Uh, you got the mean and the standard deviation listed. Without the correct mean and the standard deviation, we won't be able to use the normal calculator. So make sure you know how to find the mean and the standard deviation, and let's go to the calculator. If I go to the calculator, where are you? Hmm. I need my stat crunch. Um, here we go. Um, I was playing with binomial, but I'm going to close that one and open up stat calculator and normal. Where's that? Normal. Okay, in normal distribution calculator, type in that the mean is 0 0.550 and the standard deviation, I never found it, but you found it to be 0 .0, 0 0.050. So I'll type those in. 0 0.050. Standard deviation 0 0.050. Okay, so what are they asking? Let's see. What are they asking? Um, how likely is it that she will not get the majority of the vote? Majority means more, more than 50%, more than half of the vote, right? So well, what they want is what's the probability that the sample proportion will be 50% uh, or lower, right? 50% or lower. So 50% in decimal is 0 0.5, 0 0.50. So what I'm going to do is this. On my normal distribution calculator, I will say I want this normal distribution calculator to find the probability that x is less than 0 0.5. 0 0.5 being the 50. So she's wondering, uh, what was she wondering? Uh, how likely is it that she will not get the majority of the vote? Okay, not getting that 50% of the vote. So if you click compute, they will say, oh, that probability is about 0 0.1586. So if you round it to the nearest thousandth, uh, then you will get 0.159. Let's see what the correct answer is listed as, 0.15. Well, they wanted you to do it to uh, four decimal places. 
But you know, it may be slightly all what they have. But you know, if you take a look at the correct answers, they got more than one. Because what we have is more than one method to calculate this normal distribution. The one that we do is the easiest because we use stat crunch. But feel free to use the normal district, the standard normal table. Remember that PDF that we can read the columns and rows. So if you use that, you'll get something slightly off. Um, but you know, my math lab. They they have a program, so you know if you use one of those methods, uh, you will you will get you get the points. Okay, all right. The last one instead and equals oh if because remember her original sample size was what original sample size was only hundred. But what if she um this time assumed that the sample size is nine hundred? Now for this one, you will have to find the new standard deviation. Mean stays the same. Remember, mean is still point five five. But the standard deviation, let's find it together because it's not anymore uh, what you found with the different sample size. We're going to have to divide by a different um, n value. So type in or find the standard deviation, just like you found the first one, 0.55 times minus uh, 1 minus 0.55. And we're dividing this by what, 900, okay? So the standard deviation will come out to be, what do you think? We increase the sample size. So same. So when you increase the sample size, the standard deviation will get smaller. That's what we talked about on, on another video. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and type this in my calculator. I'll just do that on my uh, phone calculator here. Um, type in square root of 0 0.55 times 1 minus 0 0.55. And go down to the bottom of the fraction and put 900 there. 900 for the new sample size. If you do that, I'll, let me write down the standard deviation. I'm sure you can get this one to 0 0.0165 Now, the reason I wrote so much is because I just didn't want to round it in the middle of a problem where, because they wanted the final answer to be round to the four decimal places. So I just did a little longer, but that's the new standard deviation this time. So go back to the normal calculator, and we're assuming the same thing, right? How likely is it then that she will not win the majority? So uh, everything is still the same. What we're changing is just that standard deviation to what we just found. So what's going to be the probability? It's going to be about 0 0.0012, 0 0.0012. And if you go back to the, the review screen, 0 0.0012 is not listed. Oh, no. Maybe we were too accurate. <laughs> um, well, we, okay. If we round up that 1 to 8, 128 to 113, we will get 0 0.0013. So it's just a rounding. And um, after you take the test, um, I think you will be able to see the result. If you feel like you lost points just because of a, a tiny little rounding issue, I'm willing to go back and add the points. But if you are right around there, then that's that's really great. So that's how you are going to use the normal distribution because you here, like in part B, said, oh, it's reasonable to assume normal shape. Then you go to stat crunch, use the normal calculator, okay?